Good morning, modern stutters. It's 45 degrees out this morning. A little bit different than the other morning, huh? Mm -hmm. Crazy. I'm supposed to get four inches of snow in a couple of days. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you smell the skunk? I hope it's not in New York City. I hope not. It's better not yeah, it smelled the same way yesterday morning. <laughs> Good morning, chickens. They are. You still got food left. They are getting big. You don't consider them baby chicks anymore? No. No. There you go. Crazy cat. Here's the school bus. Every time we get a gust of wind, all I smell is skunk. Yep. Every single time. Every time the wind blows, huh? I hope we see one dead on the road and not one in New York City. Mm -hmm. I feel kind of like everybody's gonna be thinking I'm just keep saying skunk, skunk, skunk. But no, it keeps smelling around here lately. We never had that before. This is the first year we've had skunks and the skunk smell all the time. So I don't know what's going on. Ha! Guys, this is awesome. I can't believe how much of that pile burnt up last night. That's all that's left. Look at that. That big old dead rotten tree that I knocked over, there's two of them. That's all that's left out of it. Right there, that was in the pile. All the stumps that we've dug up in the last couple of days, they all got burnt up yesterday. The only thing I saved was some of the brush, so that way when we burn the stumps we're going to pull out today, we have some fuel to get them started. Yesterday was a long, tiring day, and I was all done working for the day. It started raining. I was getting ready to go in the house, and I said, you know what, I need to start burning some brush. So I stayed going even longer, and got the brush pile going. And I'm glad I did. I'm tired this morning, but it's paid off. That's awesome. We ended up getting a half inch of rain yesterday. It's crazy how much rain we've been getting. Can't get over it. Come on in, guys. If you're watching today's video, the day it's live, there's a good chance that you're seeing all this work done before Gina is. If you watched yesterday's video when I posted it, there's a really good chance that you saw it all before Gina. With the daylight savings time, she pretty much goes to work in the dark and comes home in the dark. So that's been like the worst part. She doesn't, she hasn't had a chance yet to see what it looks like. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <sighs> I've just been dragging some brush, trying to get some off the rock walls so we can get some more rocks stacked and I want to get these stumps all pulled, these rocks pulled up and put on the rock wall and we got a few trees to cut down there. We ended up getting a half inch of rain yesterday and it's just made it even more of a muddy mess but they're calling for snow next week. The excavators got to go so we need to get this work done but we're not going to get it done before winter. You coming to help Figaro? Huh? There's a lot of rocks in this apple orchard. There was a 
few in here that I already pulled out and they're over there. I want to get them, I would like to get all the rocks out and stacked on the wall. That way we can get in here with the commoter and mow it and just keep it nice and picked up next year. Figaro is over there making his way around, checking out the excavator. He was just in there. Crazy cat. Sorry if it's windy, I got a windscreen on, but the wind's picking up pretty good right now. We don't gotta burn it off the brush. That hemlock tree growing off that rock wall, I hope that gets strong and healthy. That's just gonna look awesome if we can get that to grow nice. Man, this one's a tough one. I might have to come back and get this one after I pull out a few more of the other stumps first. Shake out of the root ball, the easier the stumps end up burning.
I kept getting pretty nervous. I really couldn't see the telephone that good with the excavator at this point. And I kept feeling like it was going to fall over and hit the excavator. Uh, I didn't want that to happen. I don't want to hit you with the telephone pole. I don't want to hit you with the telephone pole. I hope it don't go well. When I was getting a lot of the stumps that were over here out, I kept running over here and I was trying to dig out these little tiny rocks. Well, they came out to be these massive rocks. So right now I want to rebuild this section of the wall with these bigger rocks and then we can keep on clearing this area. slowing everything down but it's coming out nice I love that we're able to save a couple of birches got a lot of big rocks out so we'll be able to mow in there nicely look at that night crawler oh it's only part of it there's the other part cool beans Andy and his gang are coming down here to check out all the night crawlers I bet you this is going to be nice once it's all done. It's looking pretty good in here. Once I'm able to get in here with the York rig, it probably won't be till next spring. It'll be real nice in here. Yeah, we knocked over one bigger rock today. That's not bad. Ah, can't get over the difference a couple of days make. And a mini excavator. I almost forgot the chainsaw out here. That would not be good. You wanna go feed the chickens or the goats first? Yes. Chickens? All right, lead the way. Look at that nice sun. Oh, Pluto? She doesn't know just to walk right through. Yep, watch out the fence is on. Why are you scared? Because there could be skunks in here. Oh my. Oh my. And there's a lot of people on these eggs. They're dirty and wet and muddy. <laughs> Gotta clean out the nesting boxes. This is the pesky corner that keeps coming undone, huh? You got the pumpkin? Yeah. I think it's quicker to go this way. It's a muddy mess in there, but it's going to be so nice once it's all done. Look, you got a balancing beam. Ooh! 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 Can you balance with a pumpkin? Probably not. <laughs> See if you can do it. <laughs> no? The pumpkin weighs way too much. It does, it's don't it? It is. It was over by those birch trees in the ground. 
I pulled it out. Oh, that is muddy. It is. Doesn't that look much better? Uh huh. Oh, this is a better balance thing. I can get on this. That's easy. an easy, yeah, easy peasy is right. <laughs> Look, this is for you. Olivia, it's got you a pumpkin. There we go. There Ready? we go. One, <laughs> two, two, three. three. We got three goats and we got three pieces. Yeah, I don't think, I think they're just all gonna share a piece. Oh, there we go. Blossom knows, because Bolo's gonna come over and try biting Blossom's ear. And getting Blossom's piece. I guess Buttercup doesn't. They're happy now, huh? Yeah. It's windy. How's that pumpkin? I thought that was a goat toy. Guess not. Guess not. Okay, okay. You silly. You got the goats, you don't come in. You got me. Wait. Wait for the wind! Blossom's like, you ate all the seeds. I don't want that one. I'm waiting for Willow to bite Blossom's ear. Look out. Go see Olivia. There you go. Oh. Willow, see over there. Oh, that was what are you up to, Andy, huh? Well, we still have some hot ambers from yesterday's fire. I wonder if we can get it going again and burn these couple of stumps. Get it going. Wind is going to be here before we know it. And I don't want to get stuck with a bunch of stumps all over the property. I should probably get out the leaf blower, but we're not going to get that out tonight. We'll see if it stays going on its own. I'll come back out and check on it in a little bit. We've been getting so many messages lately, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, emails, but are you guys just saying that how we're encouraging you on your journey and you're buying new property, you're doing this, you're doing that? Well, that just encourages me and puts a little fire into my butt and gets me excited that more and more people are on this journey and having fun with it. And that's what it's all about. It's all about having a good time, doing what we love, raising good food for our family, and trying to leave this place just a better planet for our kids and our great-grandkids. So I want to thank you all for coming along on our journey with us, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency,